This video is about filtering data in SQL. We're going to start where we left off last time with our select statement from the surveys table to filter rows uh, from the table in SQL we use the WHERE command, which is equivalent to the FILTER command in dplyr. We add that after our FROM and SELECT statements, and we say WHERE, and then we type a condition. And so let's say we wanted only the, the data where the species ID, that species underscore ID, is equal to ds, then we write the query like this. Notice that in contrast to r, we only use a single equals sign here for equality, and the string, if we're searching for characters, should be in quotation marks. And so now we can see that we only have data for ds coming back. We can combine filters using AND and OR, just like we can in R, except in SQL, these are just the words AND and OR. So if we wanted species ID to be equal to DS AND, the year to be greater than 1990, we would write it like this. See, now we've only got newer years and ds in the species ID column. Just like in R, we have null values or NA values in SQL. And just like in R, we often want to be able to get rid of them. In SQL, we do that by adding another clause to our WHERE statement. So we'll say AND. And let's say we just want to get cases where the hind foot length is not null. We would say hind foot length and then three words is not null. And so just like in R where we had to have a special way of dealing with null data, we have the same thing in SQL, but it's is not null. And we'll see that we only get non-null values of the output. So that's how we filter rows within a table in SQL. We do this using the WHERE command. We then write one or more conditions connected by ANDs or ORs. And it's important to keep in mind that in SQL, a single equals sign indicates equality, not two equal signs like we use in R. And if we want to filter out null data, we add that to our WHERE statement with the keywords is not null after the variable that we want to filter for null values.